Hey, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from moretesters.com. Today we have a performance review and it is on the Nike Zoom Hyper Rev 2016. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Some of the best traction currently available on shelves right now come attached to a shoe that retails for $110. No, you do not need to spend a ton of money to get a shoe that performs well. There is literally nothing much else to say about this. It just worked, period. Now as far as cushion is concerned, how this shoe retails for $110 and features heel and forefoot zoom air. Meanwhile, there is a signature from the same brand currently on shelves for $125 with zero forefoot cushion whatsoever is beyond me. Like it's literally beyond my level of comprehension how this has more tech and costs less than a different shoe from the same company. I understand the name on a shoe thing, the signature thing and stuff like that, but if we're talking value, like real value, I, I don't get it. It's like, it's like spending $5 on two apples when the place right next door has two apples for $3. Like why would you pay $5 for two apples when you can get two apples for three bucks. You know what I mean? Like it just, it just doesn't make any sense. It's literally mind boggling. <laughs> now as far as how it performed, the forefoot wasn't quite up to the level of uh, my personal preference of Zoom Air. But that's mostly because it's actually bottom loaded. So it's not sitting directly under your foot. It's actually right down here and directly under your foot underneath the insole is going to be the Phylon midsole. Now it still provides plenty of impact protection. Um, again, it's a, it's a, it's a full size unit as well. It's not the little rectangle ones. This cutout right here that you see, that is the shape of the zoom unit itself. Now this isn't a deal breaker whatsoever. This is actually a really good ideal guard setup. Again, it's just not my personal preference when I'm, you know, dealing with zoom air. The heel on the other hand is fantastic. It almost feels like unlock zoom, much like the forefoot. You can see the cutout here where you can see where the unit is. And this area right here compresses in a lot more. It reminds me a lot of the LeBron 12 and their zoom setup in the heel. I absolutely love the materials that they used on the Hyper Rev 2016. The entire shoe is comprised of this neoprene booty. This is something that we normally see on the inside of shoes, but they've basically reverse engineered that and made the entire shoe out of neoprene. Now, since you can't just play in neoprene because it's just too soft and not supportive enough, they've added fuse along the entire lateral side and it even wraps across the toe area. And so all of this, along with all of that, is your structural support. Not only is it structural support, but it's also adding some durability because again, neoprene is just a soft material and what this does is add a layer of protection on top of that. And as we all know, Fuse is very durable, probably one of the most durable materials besides foam posit. And this mixture between the two that they've used, I think is awesome. Now, the only thing that I have a real big problem with is just the fact that they're a pain in the ass to get on your foot. The collar does stretch out a little bit the more that you pull them on and off and things like that, but it doesn't make them that much easier to put on. When I put on my right shoe, it works perfectly fine, but when I'm trying to put on my left shoe, for whatever reason, it's almost like, like when you're putting on your shirt when you're a kid and you get your head stuck in the hole and you just can't get it out, that's kind of how it feels and it's really annoying. Once you're in though, you're in, you're good to go. But again, that's the only like real nitpick that I have about the materials. I would have maybe done something a little bit more like a V-cut with a stretch right here. That way you can kind of pull open the throat of the shoe. Uh, otherwise, you're just kind of fighting with it. Now, as far as their fit, the best way to describe this is just glove-like. Like, that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of this shoe. The shoes are literally socks with a sole and then some fuse laid on top of it. Going true to size is recommended. If you fail to do so, you're going to be compromising the fit. And by doing so, you're going to be compromising their overall support. And the lockdown, other than the traction, is one of their best features. However, the strap, for me personally, just wasn't implemented properly. I actually think the Velcro was just a little bit too weak to give it a strap. Strong hold but on this shoe here my right shoe the strap would just never stay secure which surprisingly didn't ruin the lockdown but it was annoying as hell to have a piece of material flapping around while you're trying to play I mean talk about a distraction this thing would literally just be bouncing and it was crazy it drove me nuts now while the lockdown and fit was one of their strong suits do not confuse that with support the support in this shoe is still very minimal just like the past two hyper reps. Again, this is a sock with a sole and some fuse. This is strategic support right here. This is meant for guards. This is not support for everybody. You know, it's not a hyper dunk and all that stuff. This is a guard shoe. And with that, they've created a guard setup. Now what you're gonna be getting
getting is a lot more support on the lateral end because of all of that fuse and overlay. And on the medial end, it's all mostly neoprene. So this is gonna be completely free and open. And in doing that, basically they give you free range of motion with most of your foot. And I think it's awesome. It contains right where it needs it. And then it allows you to do whatever it is that you need to do on the court everywhere else. There is a built-in heel counter within the neoprene here. And then they've also reinforced that with this uh, little rubberized heel counter as well. It is still on the weaker end. So this is not something that I'm gonna say is like fantastic. But for the type of shoe that they're promoting, which is a very lightweight, minimal setup for a guard, it does its job and it does its job well. Traction, cushion, and fit are their highlights, all of which coming in at a mere $110. Keep in mind the support is minimal, so this is not for everybody. This is specifically for guards. Am I saying that there are big men that are not going to enjoy this setup? Of course not. It really depends on your personal preference. So if you are a big man that likes that minimal feel, this is going to do that for you. But the shoe was intended for guards. So if you enjoyed the previous Hyper Rev models, I believe that you're going to enjoy these as well. Personally, I still do like the first one the best, but this fits right in line with the rest of them. I think they did a great job, especially for their price point at 110 bucks. Nike's team line has been getting better and better with each passing year, and I personally believe that their team line should be considered above their signature line, especially right now as we speak with the way that the signatures are. I just don't feel that they're greatly better than anything else that's on the shelves, other than their price point. Their price point is, is showing that they're there's something elite when you can get an elite product for half the cost. So if you're serious about performance and less about the name, then definitely go with Nike's team models right now. Again, that's just my personal opinion. If you disagree, feel free. But I got more bang for my buck out of this shoe than I did, say, the Kobe 11 and the Kyrie 2 and the LeBron 13. You get my drift. Now, if you needed another shoe to compare it to, something that you might be more familiar with, the Curry 2 is, is the closest thing to this. It's a minimal guard setup with great traction and decent cushion. They're right around the same price point as well. So I guess you can kind of think of these as Nike's version of the Curry 2. So that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. If you needed any more detailed information, all you gotta do is hit the link in the description box below. It'll take you over to our site, weartesters.com. You can see their scores, you can see their weight, all that kind of good stuff. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line in the comments. Comment section. Thank you guys for watching and until next time guys, have a good one.